Security Board. Four new dramas for Tuesdays at 9. We report, they comment. That's the news. After 20 years, I'd never have known. Q. George. In Washington today, the president, you know, this jacket does look decidedly paler. Making news, the first in our storyboard series, Tuesday drama at 9 on Central. And tonight is the world of the silver screen next. Star interviews, Hollywood gossip, and the latest releases in Saturday Night at the Movies. On Central, in a moment. Our loyal clientele will be pleased to hear that we at Togs have made a few refinements to our nappies. For your <laughs> convenience, Togs now come in his and hers, each designed to give more ultra-absorbency where most needed. Quite so. In addition, the now classic elasticated waist, if I may so, is accompanied by the Togs perfect fit band. Perfection. Togs. In our opinion, the ultimate design in nappies. At Radio Rentals, we rent televisions and videos for all your favorite programs. Our latest rental model also offers a variety of programs, though not all of them interesting viewing. I wonder why they're called radio rentals. Central, TV Times, and you. Some people are just naturals, truly great stars. And Central has an eye for them with a dazzling series of movies starring the big names. Late Saturday nights, the starring movies. You can't take your eyes off them. Have you ever had the impression that you are being watched? And tonight it's Burt Lancaster in Twilight's Last Gleaming. Some atomic missiles have been stolen. They've got to be found. 12.40 tonight on Central. Welcome to Saturday Night at the Movies. Shortly, we'll be taking a look at Wired, the film biography of John Belushi, which is creating a great deal of controversy even before its release. But first, a question. As Hollywood spends increasingly large proportions of its budget on stars, just how many of these leading actors and actresses have names that are instantly recognizable to the British public? This week uh, sees the launch of Empire, a new magazine entirely devoted to films and filmmakers. For its first issue, it commissioned a survey from Marketing Direction Limited to find out just how famous today's movie stars really are, and how their fame compares with figures from the worlds of politics, sport and pop. According to the survey, Sylvester Stallone is the movie's number one name, although he trails behind Madonna, who shares 96%, and first place with Edwina Curry. Jodie Foster is top female star in a poll where Jane Fonda and Meryl Streep don't even register. Good news for the bad boys, though. Jack Nicholson, Robert De Niro, and John Hurt all beat Arnie Schwarzenegger, who for some reason means nothing to a quarter of those questioned. Lower down the list, working girl Melanie Griffith is embarrassed to be 10 points behind the SDP's Rosie Barnes. But what about Bill Murray? Who's going to call him? Well, less than one in four of you if this survey is anything to go by. So much for fame. The survey is published in the first issue of Empire. We haven't seen the rest of it yet, but if it contains more information like this, then it deserves a welcome. The premature deaths of James Dean and Marilyn Monroe proved that there's nothing like a tragic exit for turning a star into a household name. <laughs> 